Hello everyone, this is Nick with CoopCritics.com and I am here with EdFX and this is the second video in our Minecraft Let's Play. And I have a confession to make guys, I lied to you. I, I completely lied to you, lied to your face last episode when I said that we had found where our base was going to be. Um, I liked that area but we explored a little bit more um, and we found this area it's in the middle of a jungle and it's got this really cool cliff that goes down to some water and I like this area a lot better and one of the main reasons is that we have decided that in our base we want it to have a very jungle earthy feel you know um, we're gonna use a lot of leaves and we did not like the way that the leaves look dead in that other biome. So we came to a jungle biome so they look nice and bright and green. So this is where our base is actually going to be. I promise no lies this time. Um, this is where it's going to be. This is the, actually the center point that I'm standing on. Straight ahead we're going to have a path that goes into that little flat spot in the side of that uh, giant cliff there. Um, and then we'll have other paths that go off over in each direction and I can't wait for you guys to see this build I'm really excited about doing it so without further ado let's get started alright guys the first thing we've done is we've found where uh, this path is going to be level going straight into that side of that cliff there uh, the dirt block is one block down from where we want to be so this where these leaf leaves these leaves are is actually where we're gonna start building so I'm gonna break these away from around our center point here. I'm going to do some clearing out and then I'm going to show you what this thing is going to look like. We're using a lot of oak wood planks and logs and oak leaves. So the main base of this is going to be these oak planks that I'm going to throw down here pretty soon. So we're going to keep clearing this out and then uh, I will be right back and show you what the first little bit is going to look like. Alright guys, so this is our center point and what I've done is I've put a trap chest right here um, and I will show you what we plan on doing with that later. But for now that's going to be the center of our storage unit, storage room area. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make four crafting tables because these are going to go on the corners right here. So our, our storage unit or our storage um, room is going to be have like radial symmetry is what it's going to have and that means it's going to be the same on all four sides, all four corners um, and so we will be getting into that more later but right now put these stone slabs right here all the way around alright so we got that and then I'm going to continue the stone slabs right here but there's always going to be a bottom layer of this oak plank wood down here so I'm going to keep building this out and I'll come back and show you what it's going to look like when it gets a little more complete. And there we go guys. Here's a little update. This is what the pathway is going to look like. This is going to be coming straight from our little, uh, our little cliffside residence in there and this will be the storage room. This will be the entrance. We're going to have an archway over here. I'll show you how I'm going to build that later. But for now, I'll show you what the center looks like. I've put some lily pads down here and some water. There's a uh, crafting table at every corner, so that's going to be good because the chests are going to be uh, in each corner like this, so you'll always be within reach of that. This centerpiece right now is a trap chest. Um, what this, the steps that it will probably be, it will next it will probably be an ender chest, and then eventually it will be where our beacon is shining through. But since we don't have an ender chest and we definitely don't have enough wither skulls to uh, fight the wither and get a beacon right now, uh, trap chest is what's going there for now. And I haven't decided yet, but I might 
I might turn this into like a little trash can of sorts for the time being where you can drop your items in there and then when the trap chest closes it uh, they go into a little dropper and it drops them into a cactus and basically just uh, it's just a trash can it just gets rid of your uh, items all your nasty dirt and stuff that you don't want so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to show you how I'm gonna build this one of these uh, quarters here and I'm just gonna do it on camera and kind of explain what I'm doing as I go along just so we can kind of get at least something built on camera here uh, and then after that I'll probably do a time-lapse of the rest of it so what I'm doing right now is uh, putting these oak logs down Oh, missed that jump uh, these will be kind of what our chests are inside of so these will be the walls where our chests are I think that is the height that I had it at I think that's right I built this in creative mode um, because I wanted to make sure I could get everything to look the way I wanted it before I, you know, spend a ton of time in survival. So I have a pretty good idea of how I need to do all this stuff. Whoa. Up. Oh. And EdFX left the game. He's been having a lot of problems with that. You still there, EdFX? Can you hear me? He cannot hear me, I guess. Um, yeah, so, oh, he has heard me. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, yeah, so we've been having a lot of problems. EdFX keeps getting kicked out of the game. We may have to uh, restart this map here in a little bit, but for the time being, I'm going to keep building. So, and there he is. He's just like that. He's back. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. I think that's right. Yeah, so right here. I'm going to place these down. I'm trying to remember how I did everything. Just to clarify, you were saying you built it in creative mode in another map, not. Oh, yeah, I built this in, uh, in creative mode in another. I have another test map. Uh, sorry, yeah. Um, no, uh, we've not played creative mode in this world. This is 100% uh, survival. Um, I have a test world that I will sometimes play creative mode in, um, and that is what I was referring to. Um, is that right? Man, that doesn't feel right. Hmm. I may be doing something wrong here, and I cannot tell if I am or not. No, that can't be right. I must, I must have, uh, I must have that one more back. So I'll have to fix that in a second. Let me put these walls up, and then I'll fix that. must be like that because I have the chest in there and you know what I just realized um, I did something pretty dumb I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to get a lot of iron um, I've got all my chests you can see in my inventory I've got 128 chests because that is how many chests we are going to be using for this this storage room um, but half of those need to be trap chest. So we may have to uh, do an impromptu uh, mining session to get enough iron uh, since all of our all of my iron is back at the back at the other base. Um, so yeah, we'll have to make these into trap chests because if you try to put two regular chests next to each other, it doesn't work, but you can place two tra trap chests next to each other. So I think maybe that's how I did it. I think that might be right. So now I'm going to go ahead and put some of these chests down. We'll do that. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think that's right. Uh oh. All right then. Well, we had some internet troubles. Thanks a lot, Comcast. EdFX was booted, and then I was booted out of my own game. Come to find out, we have an internet outage right now. So what I'm doing is I'm recording this section of the video offline. So it's just me right now. EdFX will join us once the internet comes back on. But for now, I'm just going to finish talking about this alone. So where we left off, there will be another row of trap chests all up here. Uh, I've got some iron smelting in there so that I can make some uh, trap chests. So those will go in there once I get that done. But um, the other thing we're going to add to this is some leaves. We're going to mimic some of that. Uh, oh, I didn't finish that. I'll have to go down there. But yeah, as I was saying, we're going to mimic some of the, uh, we're going to repeat that pattern, the leaves down there uh, up here, or not the pattern, but the uh, just the fact that we have leaves. There are also going to be oak leaves up here. Yeah, these are oak leaves, not the uh, jungle leaves, even though we're surrounded by jungle leaves. I like the texture of the oak leaves better than the jungle leaves, so that's why I chose to use them. So let's do this. And I'm going to have to remember how I did all of this. I think there was a one block overhang right here of the leaves on the front and on the sides here. Um, and actually, we are supposed to have stone bricks right here. So let me put these in. Before we close this off, though, we want to put our torches. Now what these torches are going to do is, since chests are uh, an invisible block, light can travel through them. Um, the torches are going to light up the uh, or light the room from behind those uh, chests. So that's going to be really good because each of these corners without that is uh, actually pretty dark. Um, so those are going to go behind each. Uh, corner that we make. So let's finish that out and we'll go over here and do the same thing. Put our, and we'll put some dirt down here, kind of close that off. Um, and then we'll put our stone bricks right here. Don't forget to put our torches in. Two, three, four. You know what? I didn't put these down right here either, so I'm going to put those down. One, two, three, four. And I probably don't have to put all four, but it is a little bit brighter up front. Um, I could alternate them, you know, two on each side, but uh, it does make a little bit of a difference. So I like to do all four. Let's close this off and put our leaves here. Okay, we'll hop down here and put our leaves on this side. So we're still not quite done. Um, another thing I need to make is a lot of fence posts. So we're going to make those. Um, made all that. Let's do this. All right, so that gives me a good bit. Let's get these over here. All right, so let me see if I can remember how I how I did this. Um, there's one in the middle. They went all the way out like that. There was also an extra one right there, I think. And then they came out to here. Um, actually, you know what? That We'll go there after we uh, finish this. I know, I remember what happened. There was one right here, I think. And then it came in. Oh, you know what? I remember now. It didn't come out one block. The leaves did not come out one block. And I don't have any shears with me. So I'm just going to have to break these leaves. I think we have plenty to go around. Um... So I'm not going to worry about it. We can always get more oak leaves. 
They are pretty plentiful. Okay, so now I can do this. So that, I think that's the way I did it. No, that's not right either. I probably should have uh, should have double checked this in the creative world I have. Um, my test world, that's it. There it is. And then this one went up like that and over like that. Is that right? I can't remember. I'll have to check. I don't think that is right right there. I know that's not right. So I'll have to check that. Um, I have to check that when I get back to that creative world. So we'll finish putting this along here. And then down one. I know the fence posts go up right here and out. But I can't remember what they do after that. So we'll have to take a look. But yeah, this is basically what it's going to look like. I'm going to put those trap chests in. Um, so you can see to the full effect and then we're also going to be putting item frames all along here so there'll be an item frame there 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 so that'll tell us what's in each of these chests um, again that's something we're going to have to do is we're going to have to build us a temporary cow farm so that we have enough leather to make all these item frames so that's going to take a while but i'm going to take a quick break and then i will go grab these trap chests and i will show you what it looks like with the full chests and so i'll be right back There, much better. That's what it looks like with the trap chests in there. And believe it or not, there is a lot more involved with the ceiling of this that I'm going to have to get to. But I'm not going to do that until we build the other four corners. Once we put that ceiling on, it is going to look much better because it's going to break up. You see how all that greenery is kind of blending in with all the greenery in the background? Well, the uh, ceiling we're going to put up is using stone slabs, and so it's going to break that up quite a bit. But right now, I have to go in here and take a quick nap so that it becomes day. And when we come back, hopefully, we can do a little time lapse of uh, me building the rest of those. Alright guys, I thought this would be a good chance to show you kind of the layout of this at night. So you can see this at night. I've got these torches one block down from underneath all these uh, these leaves. And so that keeps everything pretty well lit. The center area is a little dark uh, because when I was designing it, obviously I was taking into account that this was going to be a beacon eventually, which would be very bright. Um, but there will be some other lighting. We will have glowstone in a few places and maybe even put some glowstone under this water down here to light this area but that will probably not happen this episode because we have not even been to the nether yet um, so for now our lighting is going to remain pretty basic um, so yeah but I just thought you would like to see what this looks like at night like you'll be coming down this path it's gonna look pretty cool coming in and uh, all these all these torches under these leaves um, I, I personally like it a lot and uh, so that's why we decided to go this route. So back to the time lapse.
Holy sh! Oh no! This creeper blew me up. That really, really sucks because I had over 30 levels too. Finally, it took forever, but I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. Um, this is the basic bones of what it's going to look like. I say bones because we still have a few things left to do. We still got to go into the nether and get some uh, glowstone. That's what's going to go right here, there, all four of those places around there. But this is the uh, this is basically it. We're we're going to put item frames. We'll have to put all of our stuff in here. Um, but this is the general shape and the general direction that we're going to be going for much of our base is going to be done in this same style. Um, probably our main area, I would think, would be over here through this long bridge. Uh, and then each of these uh, other three routes will lead to something else. So one will lead to... Uh, maybe an enchantment room. The other will lead to a farm for, uh, you know, animal farms or whatever. The other will lead to, um, you know, whatever else we would do. Uh, tree farm, regular farm, food farm, carrot farm, potato farm. But yeah, so that's that's uh, that's my thought on it. I don't know about you, Edifex, um, what your thoughts are what all it could be Not I don't, as far as this area goes we want to keep a lot of the jungle we don't want to get rid of all of it but we are gonna not get back a little ways to uh, probably put in some stuff right here but we definitely want to keep the jungle vibe um, and so yeah there's a little natural cave over here that we've been sleeping in um, and so we can probably push this route over there and then we'll we'll break through that that wall into that mountain uh, and same thing on this side there's a little there's not much mountain right there like you can see it starts to end but we'll be able to get in there and uh, build something but this will probably be we'll go through right here and uh, I'm thinking I want to put a really cool 3x3 three three piston door right here that uh, with maybe a tripwire about right here and uh, so as you get here it just opens up in kind of a spiral pattern and uh, so I've got a I've got a design for that that I want to use uh, we don't have enough time to do that in this episode because this although it will be pretty short video for you guys this took us a very long time <laughs> to get all this built um, the time lapse took a took a while I know I probably missed some blocks I'll probably go back through and uh, find plenty of things that I missed. Um, the other thing is that we will be building a path around this. So you'll be able to take a little path going all the way around this circle. There'll be some other things there. Um, so you can take a shortcut. But also that'll allow you to be able to see 
kind of in these corners back here. And so I haven't finished um, designing them uh, in my in my creative world. I had some more fence posts up here to mimic the other design and we had them running down the sides right here and I was thinking these might be kind of cool to for using like with really little really small areas I don't know what we would use in real small areas um, I just had an idea though uh, something that might be pretty cool is maybe each of these four corners is a horse stall that would be pretty cool like an automated horse stall that we could go in jump on our horse and it would open up so we could uh, hmm. So we could ride out with our horse. That could be kind of fun. We'll have to uh, we'll have to play around with that idea and see see how that's gonna work. But yeah, guys, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Sorry, it's not a lot of talking. It was a lot more of uh, time lapsing, and that may be uh, that may be better for some of you guys. You may prefer that. Um, but please let us know what you think of the general direction and the style and everything of this build um, we're pretty excited again it's not completely finished we still have to put the finishing touches on it but we'll have to go to the nether for that in the next episode so let us know in the comments what you like what you don't like um, and as always please click that like button and subscribe for more videos like it and we will see you next time see you later there's two blocks already duplicated Three blocks already duplicated. We started out with 12 blocks. We have 16 right now.